Hello, everyone. Welcome to my The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and the Restless spoilers for the week of November 18 to 22 state that Summer Newman will have a slew of tough emotions following Phyllis Summer's automobile accident. Summer may find the circumstances surrounding Phyllis' collision odd. It's easy to envision Summer playing the blame game, so she would assume Sharon Newman was involved in all of this. Summer may also blame Chance Chancellor for ignoring Phyllis' suggestion and focus on Daniel Romilotti Jr. Daniel may also assign blame, but he is more concerned with Phyllis and her ability to recover. Phyllis, a hospital crisis is on the horizon, so Summer and Daniel will be trapped waiting for updates for quite some time. Dr. Elena Dawson is likely to join Phyllis' medical team and attempt to preserve her life. Phyllis may become comatose as a result of her crash injuries, so keep an eye out for any bad news. According to YNR spoilers, Nick Newman will be concerned about Phyllis while also trying to assist Summer. Nick may also grill Sharon and question her role in Phyllis' trauma. Whatever the case, Sharon will feel as if she is being pushed to the edge. Sharon's strange medical issues and frequent blackouts appear to be changing this tale. Will Sharon eventually confess about Heather Stevens' death and Daniel's frame-up? Will Sharon leak to anyone or continue to keep things bottled up with terrible consequences? Whatever happens, there will be other persons and forces involved. Someone may be taking advantage of Sharon's deteriorating mental health, and we'll see if that person is the true Heather perpetrator. Following his official pact with the Chancellor, Victor Newman will believe the sky is the limit. Victor will not be terrified of Billy Abbott or any revenge plots while celebrating his addition to the Newman Enterprise. Jack Abbott and Diane Jenkins Abbott will regroup after their own marriage dissolution scam is revealed. When Diana and Jack learn their secret partnership has been uncovered, they must decide what to do next. Finally, Dave Wynn Hamilton Winters and Abby Newman Abbott should begin their honeymoon once the wedding ceremonies have over. Abby and Dave Wynn may live in a happy little bubble despite the chaos pulling on elsewhere in GC. According to the young and the restless spoilers, there will be some highs and lows, so stay tuned for more predictions on the drama. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Diane Abbott is attempting to scam Victor Newman. Her rage is genuine, but the target is the Newman family rather than her alleged estranged husband and lone son. Jack Abbott and his wife look to have a public falling out. That came after the Abbott's terrible breakup with their son, which became public knowledge. Victor has large ears. He revels in the drama of his most fierce opponents, with Jack serving as his primary antagonist and Diane Jenkins, as he despises her coming in second. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Michael Baldwin is back in good graces. Diane's lone friend in Genoa City, Wisconsin, is Michael Baldwin. Victor encourages him to maintain touch with her in order to obtain information. However, Michael lately groveled to regain Victor's favor. That came after he and Cole Howard shielded Victor, which he considered as unforgivable betrayal. Viewers recollect Cole discovering his psychotic aunt Jordan Howard imprisoned in Victor's improvised basement prison. He confided in Michael, and both men pushed the mustache to release her. He did, but all was not forgiven. So it's unlikely that Michael will collaborate with Diane behind Victor's back. He could be doing so at Victor's request without informing Diane. But it would be a stretch. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Will Jack Abbott triangulate victory? Except for Nikki Newman, no one in Geno City, Wisconsin, understands Victor better than Jack. He advised Victor not to go after his family. But he did it including Kyle in the plan to exact revenge on Jack, crossed a boundary. So it's plausible to suppose that Jack and Diane devised a plot. Their strategy would be to force Victor to get rid of Kyle Abbott, prompting him to turn against his master. 
Diane offered Victor what she thought was a plausible vengeance plot, and as a result, she became the head of Clissade. But Victor either knew what she was doing or never wanted to work with her, even if it meant obtaining Jack. Victor doesn't need anyone, including Diane, to assist him defeat his long-standing adversary. The young and the restless spoilers. Diane Abbott is formidable. Victor was married twice to Diane. He despises her in part because she has bested him on multiple occasions over the decades. She remains formidable because her techniques are as ingenious as Victor's orchestrations. He is unsure of her motives, but he is willing to use her if it helps him achieve his goal. Victor already stated that he expects Kyle will disappoint him at some point. He shows no loyalty to Jack's son. The race is not to see who moves faster, but who uses more cunning. A revealed team of Jack and Diane could be something different than Victor expects. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Billy Abbott will find a Victor Newman's offer to Jill Abbott and become enraged when he discovers she is seriously contemplating it. Jill will have to concede that Victor is willing to pay significantly more than Abba Chancellor is worth, which will be a huge selling point. Of course, Billy will argue that this is about more than money. It's about maintaining Jill's legacy and passing it on to his own children. Although Jabo and Newman Enterprises are potential professional paths for Johnny and Katie Abbott in the future, Billy hoped Abba Chancellor would also be an option. That's why Billy was attempting to meet Jill's requests and get his act together before her deadline. Even if Billy fires Phyllis Summers and resumes his relationship with Lily Winters, it will not be enough to keep his job. Despite Billy's objections, Jill will make this sale because she feels comfortable leaving both her own and Catherine Chancellor's legacy in the hands of Nikki Newman. Billy will undoubtedly lose his cool and may eventually vow revenge on Victor for setting everything in motion. This deal will be a terrible error for Billy because he does not trust Victor at all. Billy and Victoria Newman are expected to clash during the wedding celebrations for Abby Newman Abbott and Davon Hamilton Winters. Victoria may try to persuade Billy to reconsider his plans for retribution, if only for the sake of the children. Billy, on the other hand, will be furious and may not be discouraged from carrying out his spiteful plans in the aftermath of Jill's announcement. We could watch Billy go into a frightening downward spiral, but it could end up hurting him more than Victor. Sally Spectra may have to step in and save Billy from himself so we'll make guesses on what she would do if Billy goes off the rails. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Billy will face some business challenges, but Sally may be able to redirect his attention to something more good, such as their growing romance. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe for more information. I'll see you guys next time.